Again, you welcome to All Line Mass TV. My name is Jix Anemo. Here we have a challenge on the board. The question reads: two to the power of three x minus two to the power of x equal to two hundred and ten. What will be the real value of x? Before we go into today's challenge, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop a new video, wonderful video, also video like the one you are about to watch right now. So let's take down our today's challenge. We take our solution. Solution. Let's put down our equation. So we have here 2 to the power of 3x minus 2 to the power of x or equal to 210. Now, if you look carefully, you discover that here yeah, we can rewrite this expression here. According to the law of indices, we say that if you have your a to the power of m n, this is equal to a to the power of m bracket n, and you can equally interchange this to give you your a to the power of n or to the power of m okay so if we succumb to this rule we can rewrite the whole of this place here which is 2 to the power of um 3x to be you know 2 to the power of x bracket bracket 3 minus 2 to the power of x equal to 210. now from this you discover that what we have in the brackets um are the same so here we have 2 to the power of x, 2 to the power of x. So at this point, we can say, let, let's bring in another alphabet. Let u be equal to 2 to the power of x. So wherever we see 2 to the power of x, we put in u there. And so this equation will now become u to the power of 3 minus u equal to 210. Move this to the left hand side so we have u to the power of 3 minus u minus 210 or equal to 0. Now, this is a polynomial equation which is of 3 degree. Okay, so what do we do? Bring out all the factors of 210, and from you, we're going to have our f of u equal to u to the power of 3 minus u minus 210 okay this will be equal to zero and so like i said if we bring out the factors of 210 we're going to discover that uh, f of 6 will give us zero okay so therefore if we now have f of 6 is equal to let's check if f of 6 will give us zero so we're going to have this to be 6 to the power of 3 minus 6 minus 210 okay then this 6 to the power of uh, 3 this will now give us 216 minus 6 6 minus 210 so if we carry out our subtraction here this minus this will give us 210 and plus 210 minus 210 will give us zero so automatically we give us zero in other words it is shown or proven that f of c is a factor okay so from here let's continue let's continue from here if we continue from here we to have this to be all right so from here it also means that u minus six is equal to zero as one of the factors so let's use the long division method to get the second root to this so from here we use our long division method so we have our u to the power of three here we don't have u to the power of two so i want to introduce u to the power of two for easy um, division so we're going to have here plus zero u to the power of two or write it where power of two minus the next one u we we'll have u here minus 210 let's extend this okay now we put our u minus 6 here all right so let's divide 
u into u to the power of 3 we are left with u to the power of 2 use this to multiply everything here we are going to have here u to the power of 3 minus 6 u to the power of 2 they carry out a subtraction if we do that this and this will leave minus times minus will give us plus so 0 u square plus 6 u square will give us 6 u squared bring out the next one which is u we go again with the same division so u into 6 u square we're going to have here to be plus here we have 6 u use this 6 u to multiply everything in here we're going to have here 6 u squared use this to multiply this we're going to have here minus 36 u all right again we carry out our subtraction from this and so this and this will leave so minus times minus gives us plus so we have minus u plus 36 u we give us here 35 u bring on the last term which is 210 okay now from here again we use this u to divide 35 u if we do that here we are left with plus 35 okay so 35 times u will give us 35 u so 35 times minus 6 will give us minus 205 so we rule off again and carry out our operation uh, again this will leave here we turn to plus so minus 210 plus 210 dx also will leave so we now have zero zero at the point where we have zero zero let's take our um quotient here now and so we now have our function to be u to the power of three minus u minus 210 equal to the first factor which we've calculated for is u minus six so we have u minus six close bracket bracket take the second one which is u squared plus six u plus 35 close bracket okay this is a quadratic equation so we solve this quadratically okay now but before we're going to solving this quadratically let's check uh, if this is going to give us a real root because what we are asked to look for is the uh, real value of x so we use the um, determinant factor okay our determinant factor which is the square root of b squared minus 4ac equal to the square root of our b is the coefficient of u which is 6 squared minus 4 dot our a is the coefficient of u squared which is 1 dot c35 okay so if we go down we're going to have this to be here we have 36 minus 4 times 1 times 35 will give us 140 so if we carry out the subtraction here we're going to have here to be minus 104 okay now this is an imaginary number this is not a real uh, number and so the whole of this will not give us a real root and so we suck up to only the first one which says u is equal to 6 but recall uh, at a point we said let u equal to 2 to the power of x so let's continue with that statement in mind okay x so we cannot say here recall recall we said uh, u should be equal to 2 to the power of s and we calculated our u to be uh, 6 so we now have this to be uh, 6 equal to 2 to the power of x now for us to get our uh, x here let's take a uh, log to base 2 of both sides and so if we do that we go to have this to be log 6 base 2 equal to log 2 to the power of x base 2. According to the law of logarithm, it says that if you have um, log m base m, this is equal to 1. So if we apply that here, and at the same time, another law which says that if you have log p to the power of x uh, base a, this is equal to x log p the base a 
we apply that to dx and this same one to this, we are going to end up having this to be log 6 base 2 equal to, here we have um, x log 2 base 2. And so this will give us one, we now have here, therefore x is equal to log 6 base 2. This is the real value of our x from that a question okay so this is all i have for you for today if you've learned something good from this simple uh, challenge then give the video a thumbs up and also do not forget to share with your family and friend members who need this knowledge of mathematics remember jake's lost you so much and all of us at online math tv love you so much why because you are always there bye for now